now, to make things cheery, we'll talk with Noah Beery. Here's the famous star, complete with spacious smile and deep box humana voice. Well, Miss Fleming, so you want an interview, eh? So, fire away. Well, I've often wondered how old you were when you first started to act. Oh, not quite 16 when I first ran away from home, went to New York, and went on the stage in vaudeville for Ned Wayburn and Oscar Hammerstein. But don't you prefer pictures? Oh, sure, it allows you more scope with some directors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll always remember the first picture I saw you in. And what was that? It was in the old silent days when you played the sergeant in Beaujet. Oh, yes. Mm, you were grand. Mm. What pictures you made lately? Oh, I made several that I liked. Uh, a peach of a little picture called uh, Someone at the Door with a couple of grand little British actors in it, little Billy Milton and uh -huh. Eileen Marsden. Then I did a great old Spanish presidente of a South American Republic in the Fighting Navy, not yet released, and I've just finished The Frog. And uh, you've been on the radio, haven't you? Well, a couple of times. When I first came over, I went on to the BBC and... Uh, I did the whip, in which I sang the whip song from the Golden Dawn. And then quite recently when I went on with Sophie Tucker, and I did a couple of old Negro spirituals in behalf of the All-American Midnight Show, you remember, for the oh, King yes. George Fund. Yes, I remember. Yeah. How long have you been over here, Mr. Fury? Very nearly two years now. I've been back to New York once. We're only about ten days, though. Is it true that your Paradise Mountain Resort has burnt down recently? And with everything in there that I loved, all my curios and trinkets and treasures and trophies, one thing in particular, though, which I lost, it broke my heart. Big old fireplace at the end of my lounge, built of the granite cobblestones, just covered over with names. Different people who had been up there through the years, uh, you know, in the picture yes. business, friends of mine. Some dead and gone now. Dear old Opie Heggie, yes. British actor. Yes. Will Rogers, dear friends of mine. I'm sorry. Um, and your son, he seems to be doing pretty well. I saw a picture of him the other day. Oh, hey, he is a nice boy, isn't he? Yes. I think he's one of the coming personalities of the screen. He's made a couple of nice pictures recently. Mm -hmm. A wild horse picture called Stormy. Oh, that's a dandy. And then just lately, uh, The Mighty Tree, a dog story. Well, it's nice to think the name of Noah Berry will live on in pictures. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me now about yourself. You're in pictures, aren't you? Oh, I didn't come here to talk about myself. Oh, well, you should be. You know, you make me think of one of our grand little actresses over home, Billy Burke. Haven't you been told that before? Oh, well, I have, by quite a few people. Oh, but do let's talk about you. <laughs> I expect you hate this place, don't you? After the glorious sunshine you've been used to. Uh, listen to me, after 20 years of that sunshine, it's, it's very fine to come over here and get this old crisp air. And uh, mm, I, I like the rains, too. <laughs> Fogs as well? Oh, sure. Whenever we get a good fog, I generally go out for a walk and stroll down by the river and see the old ships and stand there and dream. Uh, I know. Well, I mustn't keep you. It's very nice of you to see me, and thank you for talking to me. Oh, that's fine. I was just getting wound up, though. Say, I haven't had supper. How about coming along with me, and we can do a lot more talking, and I... Oh, of course, you would be all dolled up and look at me. You wouldn't go with me looking like this. Wouldn't I? You're no beery, and that's good enough for me. Yes, you mean that? Yes, I oh, do. Oh, <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> 